Lebanon has been battling a crippling economic crisis for a while and poor in Lebanon who have been struggling with unemployment, soaring inflation have been pushed to the brink by the coronavirus pandemic. Lebanon has been gripped by anti-government protests for several months. The protesters are demanding their basic necessities such as food, clean water and health care, but things have only gone from bad to worse. The Lebanese pound has been in a bit of a free fall and the COVID-19 induced lockdown has turned a severe economic crisis into a massive humanitarian problem. Now for Amr Aldan, who is a resident of Tripoli, the idea of eating meat is now a bit of a dream as he cannot reportedly even afford bread. He, like many other of his neighbours, depends on credit from the local grocer to feed his family of six, including his wife and four kids. <laughs> The Lebanon's economy is heavily dependent on imports and the value of the Lebanese pound has sunk by at least about 80% since October, which has driven up the prices. The ongoing crisis is being seen as the biggest threat to Lebanon's stability since the civil war that ended in 1990. Now, reports indicate that the food prices have gone up by almost over 50% since the beginning of the lockdown. And food items such as chickpeas, beans and lentils, which have traditionally been a staple part of the Lebanese diet, are now reportedly beyond the reach of many. Even items needed to maintain basic hygiene such as shampoo, detergent powder or soap have also become unaffordable for a lot of people. كنت اغسل مثلا بالجمعه ثلاث مرات هلا بالجمعه مره هيدا بعد اوقات بيكون ما في دواء غسيل عرفتي كيف؟ في حمام يعني قليل كمان ما في لا شامبو الشامبو صار ب 8 وب 10 كنا نجيبه ب 5000 3 ونص Now the question of course is how did the situation worsen so much much before the pandemic swept across the world Lebanon had been dealing with a refugee crisis a war in neighboring Syria that has lasted for almost a decade is one of the biggest factors in the present condition of Lebanon. The Lebanon draws international aid worth millions of dollars every year, the bulk of which is directed at the one million Syrians who presently have sought refuge in Lebanon after having fled from their country due to the civil war. I would say it's of fundamental importance to make a distinguish with what do we have at hand. People talk about socio-economic crisis, but what do we have at hand in Lebanon is humanitarian crisis. The moment you have over 40, 50 percent of people unable to access food, water, drinkable water, health and shelter facilities, that's a humanitarian crisis that requires imminent intervention. Now, the World Bank has warned last November that a majority of the Lebanese population could be pushed into poverty if conditions worsen. Lebanon stocks with the IMF for a bailout have been stalled for a while now, and Beirut's traditional benefactors, such as the Gulf states, are battling their own COVID induced challenges and this time round are unlikely to offer much assistance. In times like these, the challenges before a large section of the Lebanese population might become even tougher in the times to come.